Damn, take a look at this. Back to back Keymaster teleports. Another guy came in and got a kill in between, but. Keymaster teleport. Keymaster teleport. That's fucking awesome. No fucking way. I just got a fucking jar of souls. Oh my god. That, that must be so fucking rare. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. That might actually be worth some money. I don't know. But what? That's probably like as rare as the fucking pet. Yeah, if it's only 500k, I think I'll just keep it. I'd like to eventually have a jar collection. Alright, time to uh, witness the meme. Thanks, I've been looking for one of these. Ha ha ha. This may be of use for a certain person. Alright, finishing my Hellhound test on a normal one just to be safe, because if you die in there, when you're on your last kill, then you can potentially lose your shit, but... I think I might see if I can get one more Hellhound's test, just to... and I'll bump my KC up to, like... Probably would be able to get it up to uh, like 600, which would be pretty nice, and maybe we could get another crystal. And then after that, I'll probably go, go back to normal. Unless, I don't know, I'll, I'll go through maybe like 500 Slayer points tops, and if I don't get a single Helen's test, then maybe I will stop wasting points, because it is kind of a waste of points, but it would be nice to get that Primordial. Still hunting that, and the pet, obviously. More Hellhound so soon! I only had to skip like three tasks. Damn, that's awesome. Alright, well, I had a quite a long day today of trouble brewing, just, you know, sitting there and watching streams and random shit, and I've gained about 3,200 or 30, actually more like 3,300 pieces of eight today, so over 12 hours worth of trouble brewing, which is pretty nice, um, and I should be able to finish that off tomorrow if I have time. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to be busy a lot this week, as I said in the last video, um, but I definitely should be able to finish this last flight. It costs 5,000 pieces of eight, so I need to do another 13 games, basically, to get that done, and each game is 20 minutes, so that's... I guess like five-ish hours left, which isn't really too bad at all. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to find the time tomorrow as long as games are active and I can get that finished. It's going to be really, really cool to have that trouble brewing set all done. Quite a lot of time invested and uh, it's going to be a very nice feeling to be completed with that minigame. Well guys, I uh, did find the time today to finish off my trouble brewing games and uh, as you can see my inventory, 5,022 pieces of eight. Oh, that's a that's a good you know maybe like twenty or so hours maybe a little bit less I think it's like I think it's like eighteen actually um, but let's do it five thousand pieces of eight for the treasure flag that's the last one I need and there it is treasure flag has been obtained every single trouble brewing reward is now in my inventory that's about one hundred fifty hours worth of trouble brewing finally uh, completed you can't even like see flag's always cut off off the top, but pretty cool looking flag, and uh, it's, it's crazy to, to actually have all this done, so all the naval sets all the flags cutthroat flag is 2,000 gilded smile flag is also 2,000, bronze fist flag is 3,000 Lucky Shot Flag is 4,000, Treasure Flag is 5,000, and Phasmatist Flag is 6,000. That feels so good, man. That seriously feels so good. So we can tick that off the list. 39,522 pieces of eight in total are sitting in my inventory right now. Oh, look at that! 499 kill count for my third crystal, I've gotten one of each of the boot crystals, and that is primordial, that is the most expensive one. I think there's still like 15 mil, so that is a fucking awesome drop. I was so, I was so hoping that I would get one, that's amazing. Well, according to O's, but it's actually back up to 17 mil, which is quite interesting. They dropped, they went up to 23 mil at one point, they went down to uh, 15 mil at one point, and now they're back up to 17, so I don't even know what's happening with these. I want to keep the boots, but at the same time, I don't know, I don't want to lose too much money. I don't really know what's like. I don't know what to expect because the prices change so much every single day. But also, 500 Cerberus kill count, pretty awesome right there. So, I'm guessing it's one in 3k. So I guess we were like a sixth of the way to the drop rate. Well, since they're going up, I think I'm actually going to just attach it to the boots for now and make some of these, and then uh, I will sell them later if they seem like they continue to, if they seem like they're kind of leveling off. But for now, may as well throw on my Jordans for a bit, wear these at the boss, and get you know like very very minimally higher DPS and look like a swag master. Uh, but yeah, I guess this is the second time I've owned these boots, and uh, they look fucking sexy. 
All right, so this is the point where uh, I moved to college, and since uh, college, I've only recorded a little bit of audio, so a lot of the clips that I recorded uh, can't be live because, like, there's another person in my room, and if I just randomly start talking, like, out of nowhere, it might be kind of strange, so I will do my best to have more live commentary in the future, but the next three clips are not live, but uh, as you can see right there, I just finished my uh, third Hellhound task. Yeah, I guess that was my... Or maybe, no, that's definitely my fourth task, because, yeah. My fourth Hellhound task of uh, Cerberus, and these are the loots that I have so far. I... I it's not really worth that much, but I mean, I've gotten the three crystals, so that's a really nice amount of money. And uh, after finishing uh, these Cerberus tasks, I decided to go back to normal uh, Slayer. I got an Aviancy's tasks and I tasks a task, and I decided to do some Solra. And here's the first drop: Magic Fang and Magic Seed. Uh, when I was first looking at this clip, I thought it was double Magic Seed, but then there's Magic Fang in my inventory, so I got confused. Um, but yeah, I probably will do a fair amount of Solra soon, just because you know. There's always the chance of nerf, and if I do get the pet, then I can sell the Third Age Mage Hat and potentially the Arcane also, since they won't really have much use to me. And next up, another drop from uh, Zolra is the second Magic Fang, <laughs> so I guess R.I.P. Bodhi. Um, I actually, no, he got his Fang, didn't he? So never mind. But yeah, two Fangs in quick succession, and then there we go, a Tanzanite. I switched to Resizable also for some of these clips, rather than fi or, I mean, fixed rather than Resizable. Um, because my computer is running pretty hot and I wanted to put as little load on it as possible um, but I did get my new CPU fan so I, I talked about that in the last video I posted but the next few clips are unresizable and here are some BA gambles uh, I did a few more games with some friends just because I felt like it and it's fun but they actually are going to be polling uh, increasing the point cap on BA in the next poll I believe they said so I'm probably not going to do much more BA until then um, because that will make a really big difference for BA, it'll just make it a lot nicer. And a second Tanzanite Fang, really awesome. I Throughout the history of my Zolra kills, I've gotten very few Serpentine Visages and a lot of Tanzanites, and a decent amount of Magic Fangs also, but I've gotten more Tanzanites than anything else, which is really awesome. Um, and I've also been doing a little bit of skilling here and there. As you can see, I did, uh, right there, I just hit 15 mil Hunter. Um, so I was at 14 mil for a little while, and I decided to bump it up to 15 mil, just because I really do enjoy Hunter and uh, it's really nice in the red chin spot. You get maybe like 160k an hour, maybe even a little bit more, but I really wasn't keeping track of my XP rates. Um, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to round it up to a nice 15 mil, and I do like to do skilling here and there just to get, you know, kind of a break from the PVM and stuff because it is nice and relaxing. And I have also been doing a lot of Castle Wars, and there is 600 tickets for the Castle Wars Gold Shield, which is the first uh, reward since, I guess, since Halo that actually looks pretty nice. Um, so that's really, really cool. 600 tickets out of 2,900 right now uh, for the full gold set. And I'm continuing to work in that way. I can also buy the legs for 600. They cost the same price, but not quite as exciting looking if you don't have the plate body also. And to get the plate and legs, it costs 1,400 since the plate is 800 and the legs are 600. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be wearing around that shield a bit. It looks pretty, it looks pretty swag, you know? It's a, definitely a nice fashion escape item. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to hitting that 1400 mark. I've been doing a lot of AFK Castle Wars while in classes and doing homework, so it's been really nice. Alright, AVNC's task is done for a Dwarf Reed Seed drop. No drops on that uh, task of, I guess I did around 30 kills of the actual boss, um, which is pretty normal, so uh, it's a pretty fast task, decent KC, and uh, I guess I'll go and get a new task from me, even see what it'll be. Smoke Devils, I will do it. Alright, well if I sell these two items right here, my tickets will go up to 801, one more in the bank, so 802 in total. And the decorated plate body costs 800 tickets, so no legs yet, but it still looks pretty cool, so uh, I might wear that around a little bit, but yeah. 800 tickets for that plate body, definitely making some nice progress. I am over, well, I guess I'm, I'm less than a third, but I'm more than a quarter of the way there. 800 out of 2900 right now, which is pretty nice. And I guess I need another 600 before the fashionscape really becomes real with the plate legs as well. Alright, so there is my Smoke Devils test finished up. It was actually, it felt quite a bit faster than they usually are, but maybe I just haven't done it in a while, I don't know. But it seems like they're at least like 40 to 50 kills per hour, but I probably should have timed it. And then, new task was 10 Black Dragons, because Neve actually assigns Black Dragons now, which is interesting, I guess. So I guess I will do that at KBD, but like 10 of them, I kind of wish it would assign more. Got some KBD heads on like my third kill into the task. And I am over a thousand KC on that now, which is kind of nice. And Abbey Demons, that will be nice when Sire comes out, but for now I'm going to skip those because I have plenty of points. And next task is AVNCs once again. That is a really, really common task also, so I'm getting a lot of Armored Boss, um, which is alright. But spent about an hour to get my first Ecumenical Key here, and then the second one came in pretty quickly also. But yeah, it was very annoying. My Ecumen Ecumenical Key luck has been really bad, which has been kind of frustrating.
All right, I'm gonna do a quick price check of some of the items in my loot tab. It's definitely not everything, but because up to 57 mil, it's probably at least another like three to 10 mil somewhere in there in my loot tab right now. So probably have about you know 60 to 70 mil available in cash, which is kind of nice. I do have I have been buying my daily battle stabs as much as I can, so I've been getting better at that. So not all of this is from PVM, but most of it is. Um, so yeah, I've been making some nice money, especially at Solra. Solra probably is the smartest thing for me to do right now. Like armor will be better to do once I get an Ellie. Um, but yeah, I'll probably keep doing some Zolra and keep doing some other things as well. This episode will be a little bit short just because uh, I tend to ramble more when I do live commentary, I think, than when I'm commentating over clips. And also, as I have uh, said before, I am pretty busy, um, just in general. But I will try to make the episodes as long as I can, but I can't promise that they'll always be like 20-minute episodes because it does take a lot of time to make a 20-minute episode unless it's just a whole lot of rambling. Um, but one interesting thing, I did pass 26 mil hit points, which basically means like 99 hit points times 2, which I guess is kind of cool. Um, and the only skill, like combat related, I guess besides prayer, that is below 20 mil right now is defense. So uh, I might work on that a little bit, try to get all my combats 20 mil plus. Um, but yeah, looking at the completionist list, this is all I have left right now. Um, I have pets, obviously. 826 out of 2,900 tickets right now, and then POH stuff is basically just buying stuff. It won't take much time. Uh, it'll take a little time to design the POH, but not too much. Mutagens from Zolra are like, eh, if I feel like it. Um, Herb sack I still need to buy, but it's just so expensive points-wise that I'm not really in a hurry to do that because it's not really useful for anything that I do. Um, but I will buy it eventually. It's not really like a time taker. And then games room, um, I don't actually know what you like accomplish from games room but i know that you have to get like certain scores in games room to uh get into i think to get into certain rooms in the game room or something like that i don't know i need to go over there and try things out and see what's happening over there um but yeah that's another thing that was pointed out to me and i think there is also something related to that i haven't actually written down related to uh something in dorish khan with like light orbs or something like that so if any of you guys know anything about that i would definitely be interested i need to check that out as well because i've heard i think there's something about how you can like light them only once and then after that they're lit forever or something like that which is technically completionist, so maybe I should go figure something out about that, but yeah, sorry for this episode being a little bit short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will do my best to make them as long as I can, but I am just a lot busier now than I was before, um, and I will try to stream later today, but I'm not positive that I'll be able to. I don't know if I'll be able to do the streams like in the morning slash afternoon on Sundays, as I normally do, but if I do do those, then I'm going to be doing Castle Wars instead of Trouble Brewing, since I did finish off my complete trouble brewing set um, and we're moving on to castle wars I'm not sure yet whether I'll do it in the themed world or whether I'll do it in an off world we'll have to see how it goes um, but yeah that should be pretty fun it will be kind of fun to like see how good I can actually be at normal castle wars because I don't want to be a complete uh, castle wars boost prod um, but yeah that's the plan for now hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all later thanks for watching